New tonight at 6, a bill battle brewing. The only major cable and internet provider for York and Lancaster counties is getting customers fired up. Yeah, they are proposing that anyone who still gets a paper bill in the mail face an extra charge. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes is live tonight at 6. Tanya, a lot of people not happy about this. Oh man, yeah, this is not sitting well. I mean, as it is, nobody likes to open up their mailbox and find a bunch of bills in there, right? And now some companies are even suggesting that you ask about e-delivery. Well, now Comporium is saying if you don't get that e-delivery, you're going to have to pay up. Saturday Night Live. Don't get creative. Against their common enemy. Look at your cable bill and you'll find fee after fee, charge after charge for this thing or that. But now for Comporium cable users, a new fee that's making some customers want to cut the cord. Starting next month, Comporium is going to bill you to bill you. The company sending these notices letting customers know they're now charging a $2 fee every month for anyone who receives a paper statement. I, I do think it's nickel and diming. It all depends on what it's really for. What it's really for, according to a Comporium spokesperson, to go green and save some green, saying paperless bills are better for the environment and make the process more streamlined. But the president of the BBB says the last thing a company should do is punish a customer to pay a bill. There have uh, been companies that have tried it and they've quickly rolled it back because of consumer backlash. Rock Hill residents pointing out some people don't have internet access. I feel like this punishes the people that maybe don't have internet, like they don't have the choice to, to elect paperless. The BBB agrees. And so you're going to penalize somebody in that situation to get your service? And then for the privilege of paying for that service, that they have to be billed extra for that, uh, it's just not right. So Comporium said it was never their intention to penalize anybody and they would be willing to work with individual customers who may have issues. The BBB says if you don't like this, you should complain. If enough people speak up, maybe the company will change its policy. Reporting live in York County, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. They're going to bill you to bill you. Tanya, thank you.